is up? It is Century. How you doing? Today's video, you know, long awaited. Long awaited. I feel like literally since the beginning of quarantine, why am I hunching? Why am I doing this? Since the beginning of quarantine, this has been something that I wanted to film for you guys. And the only excuse that I have is that I have filmed this video three times and all three times I did not like it. So I'm here again. Let me sit up on my knees. Why am I so low in frame? What is going on? I'm in a different location today. Hi. If that rambling didn't explain it for you, today I'm going to be showing you guys four different ways that you can wear your blush to completely transform your face. This is the latest video in a series that I've been doing on my channel for a while where we ditch the very typical Instagram baddie makeup that you see on pretty much every Instagram post, every YouTube tutorial, and we try different shapes and techniques and ways of doing our makeup from different countries and decades and also just different artists who might not be as mainstream so that much like a little sim we can build the perfect face of different makeup techniques. But before that, if you've never seen my face before and you're ever interested in seeing my face again or if that sounds interesting to you, feel free to subscribe down below. We would love to have you. We just passed 600,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so freaking much. Oh my God. I feel like I started this year with like three. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me on this little video journey. It does mean the world. And thank you for sticking around to wait for this video because holy shit. Also, this video is sponsored by Function of Beauty, which I'll talk about a little bit later in the video, but I think it's going to be long enough without a lengthy intro. So let's get into it. Oh, hey, oh, hi. So pretty much all of my makeup is done except for my blush. And I only have on a really light contour today because I'm going to show you guys how to sort of melt your blush into your contour to achieve different shapes. Now, more often than not, when we talk about blush, most people assume that you put blush right here, right on the apples of your cheek. It's sort of how we learned, I think a lot of us when we were growing up learning about makeup, that you would smile and plop it right here. That is one completely valid way to wear your blush, and it's one we're gonna talk about today, but there are also so many other places and ways to wear it that aren't talked about quite as much that can have a really dramatic effect on how your face looks. Now, I always say disclaimer that I'm not a makeup artist, and these are just things that I've noticed in my own face, different effects that I've been able to do with, you know, doing different characters and stuff like that, but I have found that putting your blush right here does help to round out your face. Now, if that's something you're going for, if you have a very square face or even a very angular face, plopping your blush right here can really help round out your cheeks and give you like a very cutesy look. I'm gonna use a really compact brush for this little tutorial because I really wanna be very precise about where I put this product. And I'm gonna be showing you guys using the shade, is that? This is so confusing. It's like, okay, so. I open it and then I look for the names, but the names are upside down, so I have to turn it. So I, to be completely honest, I'm not sure what shade this is. I think it's Crave. So if I do blush the typical way that we all learned, like pinch your cheeks, add a little bit of flush. If I put the flush right here, I'm also going to deposit the color pretty dramatically here just so you guys can see the difference. But when you're putting your own blush on, it probably will not be this dramatic, eh? Although that is really, really pretty, actually. So if you can see, when I have blush right here, it does make my cheeks look very round, even really rounder than they are, which I have pretty, pretty meaty cheeks. It's something that I've talked about in other videos where some people have just naturally drier faces is what they're called, where you can see, you know, their faces are very angular. They don't have a lot of meat over their face. One way, obviously, is not better than the other. I have a very juicy, meaty face. I have a lot of skin, a lot of like volume on my face. So putting the blush right here, you guys can probably even see when I smile, it's gonna make my face look very round. And to accentuate that, you can even go into your bronzer and scoop. So you're just gonna round out your cheek like this. Do you see how already it's creating a very round, juicy little cheek there? On me, it looks almost like a, like a jolly cheek because I have so much cheek to begin with. Also, the sun is starting to dip, so if I start getting a lot darker, I'm sorry. If the color correction gets crazy, it's nothing you guys aren't used to. <laughs> this is the typical way to do blush, but I also think it's flattering on a lot of face shapes. So if this is how you've been doing your blush and you're like, oh no, I've been doing it wrong. Like, absolutely not. It became sort of the easy, typical way for a reason because it's flattering. However, I do my blush in the complete opposite way. It could not be more diametrically opposed. Because I have such a meaty face, I actually don't love to make my cheeks look even rounder. I like to make them look a little bit more snatched, a little bit more angular. Instead of scooping up like I did on this side, I will 
head south. So keep it pretty much in a straight line until you get down to here. And then I do take that color all the way down and then obviously buff that out so that it's not so dramatic. If you guys want specifically a contour tutorial, let me know. That's also obviously a huge tool in your arsenal and changing your face shape and your appearance overall. But I have loved doing this very snatched bronzer contour routine for a while. You guys, if you've been on my channel for a minute, probably recognize it. So see, even with the contour, how this cheek is very plump. On this side, my face is very round, very cute, very meaty looking. And on this side, we are starting to look very snatched. Now on this side, obviously, because this is a straight line down, you're not going to want to put the blush right here because it's going to completely ruin the illusion. So instead what I do is I take a little bit of color and I start applying it up here near my eye and start creeping it in towards my eyeball, but keeping it very much on the upper edge of my contour. I'm not going to bring it down into my cheek area. I'm going to leave this pretty much bare. So this is going to be hard to show you the comparison completely head on. However, we have the rounded side and snatched. You know what's so interesting is that sometimes I am watching these videos and I even learn something myself. But before that, it is function of beauty time, so I'm gonna let future Snitchery take it away. Oh, hey, it's Snitchery, but with curly hair, which I literally never have on this channel for the singular only reason that I am incredibly lazy and hate doing my natural hair. So when function of beauty reached out to me, I was like, I have a plan. So if you've never heard of Function of Beauty, they are a hair care company, though they do also have things like body wash and body lotion. And what sets them apart is that you are able to completely customize your formula. Not only do you get to choose the color and the scent, but you also tell them about your hair type really in depth, tell them about your hair goals. I think they have 18 different hair goals that you can choose from. So this time I chose volumizing because I have pretty thin hair, curl definition, which I've kind of ruined because I did take a nap, and deep condition. And on top of that, you get to choose what the name says on the bottle. So I got function of Eleanor, which a lot of you probably don't even know is my name, especially because the seasons are changing. It's starting to get really cold here. I definitely wanted to make sure I had a lot of moisture in my hair. Function of beauty in the past, in my old formulas, I've always found that it's done a really good job, but you can choose whatever you want to make it fit your hair perfectly. There are more than 54 trillion options because of all of their different choices in all those categories. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free. There are no parabens, no GMOs, no sulfates. They have custom leave-in treatments. They have custom hair serums. And I feel like it makes my hair look really cute, especially the volume part. If you are also somebody who has thin hair, function of beauty, I see. So if any of that sounds interesting or you'd like to try out a custom combination for yourself for the very first time, like I said, I've worked with them before, but they've never offered a deal this big, at least not through me. I'm able to give you guys 25% off of your entire order. It's not something that I like personally will make money off of past the sponsorship. It's not an affiliate code, but it's a really good deal. They told me it's for a very limited time only. So if you are interested, get your little Get your little paws on it now. I'll leave a link in the description box. But look how cute. I fully went into this video expecting to prefer the look of my daily blush because that's what I do on the regular. But looking at the camera now, I'm sure you guys can tell that this really does just accentuate my cheekbone in a way that this one does not because as I said, I'm really working with my face shape here on this left side, right? In a way that I'm working against my face shape over here. This would look much better on somebody who had very straight sharp cheekbones. Makeup is so interesting that way because sometimes we really do fight against our natural features with makeup and it looks really good. Like for example, I have very, very, very small eyes and I will do everything in my power to make them look bigger. I'm not gonna line them with a coal black liner to make them look really, really tiny and accentuate my small eyedness because it doesn't look good on my face. I have very large features and when my eyes look a little bit bigger, my face looks more in balance. But Sometimes we do fight against features in the hunt for other features. Like for example, I love the look of those really chiseled cheekbones. And this is the type of makeup that both accentuates chiseled cheekbones and can make somebody with a little bit of a meatier face look like they have that look. But very clearly I do not. I have meaty cheeks and they're freaking stunning. I love my cheeks. And in doing this video, I feel like I will actually start switching on over into that really like rounded, face shape. I think it does a lot more, especially in this area, you guys can probably see, to accentuate what I already got going on. Okay, so I went ahead and buffed this side of my face out because I'm just, I'm enamored. So I want to keep it. The next style I want to show you guys is blush for a long face. Now, along with having a meaty face, I also have a pretty long face. I have a long head, like from forehead to chin, 
I got a lot going on. And when I say makeup for a long face, it's kind of what I was just talking about, where typically it'll be ways to shorten, shorten, oh my God, create an illusion of a shortened face, not makeup that's going to make your face look longer. So instead of taking the blush up, you're actually just gonna take the blush directly across your cheek like this back into your cheekbone. Just sort of run it across like that. And then so that the blush has something to melt into, just kind of create a little shelf here, a little contour shelf. What this elongated blush style is gonna do is obviously help your face look a little bit shorter. When you do a really dramatic contour in the typical contour shape to going directly down like this, it can actually really, really elongate your face. And when you follow that shape with blush, it's just gonna make that effect more dramatic. So if you do have sort of an oblong head like your girl, making your contour go directly down like this and drawing a big blush line is not gonna help your case. It's the reason why I personally, when I do that large contour line, keep my blush right up here to lift my face a little bit. Your eye is sort of drawn to follow this line, so you're not paying attention to the length of someone's face, you're more so focused on the width. And because this line extends nearly from nose to out of eyesight, it does help the face look a little bit wider. I'm gonna buff both of these out. The next way to wear a blush is one of my personal favorites. I feel like I see it in a lot of K-beauty, so it might be a Korean beauty trend, but either way, I think it gives you a very cute, youthful, sun-kissed look, and that is to bring your blush directly across your nose, just like that. This is a fun tutorial because I know that you guys can literally follow this no matter who you are, no matter what you're doing. If you literally have 10 seconds, this is all about placement and not at all about skill. I used to wear my blush like this a lot in college, especially with some fake freckles. It really does look like you got a little bit of a sunburn. It is a very youthful, I will say summery look, at least for me. What I like about this is that if you are somebody who does want to accentuate their cheekbones like sometimes my cheekbones are just giving me a lot if I have like a full face of makeup on and I don't want to have really dramatic contoured aggressive cheekbones but I also don't want like casket face essentially I need a little bit of color you can dust your color across your nose and it's gonna bring all the focus right to the middle of your face it's gonna draw a lot of focus at least I found to your eyes to your lips the sides of your face even if you don't like your face shape this can help because the sides of your face sort of melt away and all the focus, all the color is literally right here. You can diffuse it out as much as you want just by sort of poking your nose <laughs> with a big fluffy brush. But considering how strange it sounds to say, put your blush over your nose and nowhere near your cheeks. When you see it in action or when you see me talking, it actually really doesn't look that strange. It just looks like I sort of have a flush. And compared to how dramatic my cheekbones looked before when I was applying a ton of contour, a ton of color, they're really not even something you would notice when I do my blush this way because they're so secondary to how much I've got going on right in the center of my head. If you still want a little bit of color on your cheeks but you wanna try this style, you can also extend this line out, making sure not to keep it rounded. Keep it still pretty oblong until you get out to the outside of your face. You can see I'm sort of pinching my brush here. And then you have sort of an even flush of color across your entire face. It is both the most natural looking blush and also the most blush you'll use because you're using it everywhere. And I found personally that this is the best way to shorten a face. Why do I keep saying it like that? Oh my God. To shorten a face is to create one long line across your entire face. I wish I had other models here to do makeup on because I do think this would be helpful to show you guys on different face shapes. But as I'm sure you can imagine, if I had one long line of makeup down the center of my face, my head would look significantly longer because your eyes would be following that path. When you add a line of blush across your entire face, a long head looks much, much shorter because you're following this straight line, you're following this line, you're following this line, and all of a sudden the vertical line of your nose or maybe a longer chin just isn't as profound. It's not something you'd notice because your eyes subconsciously are spending so much time looking at that horizontal information that your head just goes boop. One more way you guys can wear blush is also to do sort of a monochromatic face. So for that, you're literally just gonna take your blush and drag it up into your temple and over your eyes. This again, sounds like something that would look very dramatic, but weirdly, look how freaking bright the color that I'm using is, and I'm really packing it on, and it still just really does not look that strange. Unless you're using like a bright, bright red, you can actually do quite a bit with almost any blush color, and it's really not gonna overwhelm your face. At least for me, if you have a lighter skin tone, that might 
might not be the case. This very flushed, monochromatic, natural looking face is an entirely different vibe than having like bright pink right here or having lavender up here in your cheekbones. If you want to see a part two of this video on different blush colors, I thought that would be way too much to go into one vid, but I am 100% more than happy to do that. I actually think that would be so interesting. Maybe we we do blush colors and blush types in terms of like powder versus cream versus liquid all in one video. So if you guys are curious about that, stick it down in the comments, let me know. So we talked about how to make your face look rounder and fuller. We talked about ways to make your face look longer and more snatched, how to make your face look even shorter and then shorter still. And last but not least, here's how to look really cute. Put some blush on the end of your nose. <laughs> I think that is all I have for you guys. Like I said, let me know if you want to see a part two of this video or which video you want to see a part two of. I've been itching to get back into lip styles. So let me know if that's something that you guys would be interested in. If you made it to the end, leave any fall emoji down in the comments, anything spooky, like the ghost, the spider, the bat, the pumpkin. The options are endless. I think there's a Frankenstein. Thank you for being my friend today and always, and I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys.